the Nottingham Ice Arena in England for a lesson in precision speed skating courtesy of the Team GB short track squad. Led by coach Nick Gooch, a former world and Olympic short track medalist, Team GB's elite men and women are currently honing their skills ahead of next week's world championships in South Korea. Short track speed skating is a very fast, exciting, adrenaline fueled winter sport where skaters race up to speeds of 30 miles an hour. So it's all about speed, precision, power, overtaking, strategy, decision making, all rolled into one. Short track takes place in a 60 by 30 meter ice rink. The track is laid out in an oval of 111.12 meters. International competitions see athletes participate in frenetic sprint races that are between 500 and 5,000 meters in length. Four to six athletes race against each other as opposed to against the clock, and it's a first cross the line knockout style format. There's always mistakes, there's always controversial decisions, and it's very unpredictable. There is inherent danger involved in skating at high speeds in close proximity to the barriers, to other people, with sharp skates on, but that's part of what makes it exciting. The mental and physical preparation required for short track success starts well before stepping on the ice. They'll do some very sport specific exercises. This is based on like muscle memory and trying to train the athletes to move in the movement patterns that we want them to, to be more technically efficient. So we do a lot of balance on like wobble cushions, skate specific movements with cords creating resistance and simulating like the angles and the positions they get into on the ice. Under Nick's precise and detailed tutelage, Team GB has seen great success recently, with two particular athletes stealing the show at the European Championships in January. Scooping gold in the 500 meter, 1000 meter, and 1500 meter events, Elise Christie is Europe's top short track skater. This sport is completely defined by fine margins. You can beat someone by the tip of your blade. You have to get your technique right. Your physical has to be good enough. You have to get the tactics right. Elise is a great all-round athlete. She has great power to weight ratio and is very fast. But she also has a really high lactate turn point. Being in squat position, you get a build up of lactate. So what most people would associate is that burning sensation in their legs. And Elise has a great capacity to cope with that. Christie's training partner, the reigning 3,000 meter European champion, is Charlotte Gilmartin. I'm the skater that stays at the back, tries to do nothing and then goes for a big move. And when you're kind of attacking and attacking and your legs are getting tired and you're just hoping you're the last corner you're going to make it. When you're following there's a drafting effect, so she's waiting for the other athletes to tire themselves out and taking advantage of those situations. Christy, Gilmartin and their teammates are about to jet off to the short track speed skating world championships in Seoul, so their training is centered on refining racing techniques. Three of the most important parts of the race are the start, the corners and good technique getting a good body position. On the start we focus a lot on the reaction to the gun, that first movement being very quick and then trying to get a longer stride pattern so that with every push that they're traveling a greater distance. Everyone's always fighting for that first block and it's really important to be aggressive off the first line. To get away in top two position is key in, from a strategy point of view. With just six to eight steps from the start line to the first corner, athletes have less than a second to transition into their leaning phase. In the corner, we try and keep a really low center of gravity, one for aerodynamics, but also creating a more stable base to give us more balance. You have to be very precise with where your feet are going. I mean, if you take one wrong step, you can go down hard at really fast speed. It's in the corners where the unique design of the bespoke molded skates and rugged cut-proof gloves comes into play. The blade is 46 centimeters long and only a millimeter wide. So then you, that means you can get the real good lean because it's just carbon through the ice because it's so thin. On the end of the gloves there are tips so that when you put your hand on the ice it just glides over the top of the ice. The faster you go the more you're able to lean because you've got the momentum to carry you through and you're looking at kind of leaning between 20 and 30 percent so it's quite a deep lean. And the best place for your body to be is touching your thigh. Obviously firstly that's aerodynamic but secondly you're then getting the full push that your leg and body can give. As the laps clock up and the finish line comes into sight, it is often the execution of a clever overtake that can determine the victor. Perfect overtake takes precise timing. You're looking for that opportunity to make your move. You're having to fit at very high speeds through small gaps, so it's all about 
timing and lines. Going into the corner a bit wider and a little bit deeper than the person in front and then as you hang, which is the bit where you lean a lot, you hang a little bit longer than them and pull tighter out the corner and then accelerate past. All the hours of training and preparation we put into, when it comes down to it, it's a blink of an eye moment where you have to make that precise decision, exactly the right time and get through that small gap and gain that tenth of a second.